We are all aware we live in a physical world, but we often forget there is a spiritual world as well. Hallelujah. Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in Jesus' mighty name. If this is your first time joining us, you're so welcome. This is Revealing God's Word with Judith Gangs. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Today's word is coming from 2 Corinthians. I read, So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, and what is unseen is eternal. Okay. The Lord wants us to fix our eyes on what is unseen and not what, what is seen. We are very much aware of what is seen in our environment. For example, you cannot just run in the middle of the road with cars running up and down because you are aware that if you go into the road, you're going to get hit. Now, it is very obvious that we are going to go through difficulties in our life. We are all going to experience difficulties in our life. We are all going to experience hardship. So many of you are already going through that right now. But guess what? It is temporary. The Lord says, fix your eyes on what is unseen. That is eternal. What is unseen is eternal. What is seen is temporary. So the difficulties you're going through right now is temporary. The hardship you're going through right now, it's temporary. But we fail to understand that the invincible, the thing that is not seen, it's God's love for us. God, God's forgiveness, God's patience. God is always there to listen to us. That is what we fail to understand because that is unseen. You have to understand that God loves you. You have to understand that God is patient with you because you will go here and sin today and you come back to the Lord and say, Oh God, please forgive me. I have sinned. And guess what? God is still going to forgive you. But that shouldn't give you the right to do it over and over again. That is just to simply explain God's patience with you. The Lord loves us so much, but that is unseen. We are mainly focused on the difficulties we are going through in life. But we also fail to understand that these hardships, these difficult moments are temporary. I want you to know that whatever you are going through right now is temporary and the Lord is with you because he loves you so much. The Lord is with you because you are his child. The Lord is with you and he is going to walk you through it all in Jesus mighty name. I want you to type in the comment section. I am loved. Hallelujah. I am loved. Now may the Lord bless you, cause his countenance to shine on you and always remain blessed. I pray may you gain the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding that the things we are aware of beyond of the physical, there is also a spiritual realm. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Always stay connected, child of God, and I will see you next time. Remain blessed. Bye-bye.